Uber. Uber has a problem. It has lots of problems. But today we'll focus on just one of them, Uber's self-driving cars and their interaction with bikers in bike lanes. Uber told The Guardian that the company is working on a fix to a flaw in the programming that allows self-driving cars to safely make turns in bike lanes. In other words, they're making them unsafely. The admission comes after Uber launched a self-driving service in San Francisco last week without first obtaining a permit. Prior to the story in The Guardian, executive director of the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition issued a statement saying that he saw an Uber car in self-driving mode make an unsafe right hook style turn through a bike lane twice. Mm. And anyone who's driven in San Francisco knows that cyclists pose a unique problem because they're so agile and unpredictable. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's not good. Uh, Say, so, you know, Uber still doesn't have a permit to do this. They, they're, they've rejecting the permit on principle. They say someone's in the front seat of the car, so they don't need it. But this, I, I mean, I sort of feel like we're just waiting for someone to really get hurt and then they're going to have to change something. Yeah, I know. It kind of feels that way. Uh, I, state law mandates that cars actually merge into the bike lane before they make a turn because that forces, well, that forces the car to be part of the lane so that bicyclists behind it know to slow down while the car, car turns through and everything like that. I wonder how much of... Like, I guess, I guess I've never really considered, I know that when, when you're talking about Google Maps, for example, Google has bike mapping capabilities. So there is consideration for bike lanes and everything in there. So I have to imagine Uber has access to that too, because are, are they still also using Google Maps? I know that they're working on their own maps data, but they should know that. And it should be, I would guess, a pretty easy fix. Like when I think about like uh, blind spots for human drivers. Bicyclists seem to be really difficult for human drivers to see because we're always fixated in that driver's seat position and we're limited based on kind of the visibility that we have with the windows that, you know, that are surrounding the car and the kind of the separations between those windows that, that actually block your view. I would guess that self-driving vehicles with all of their sensors and being mounted on top and everything would have more visibility of bicyclists and this, is, this would be a relatively easy fix. But what do I know? I'm not designing the systems. <laughs> I would hope <laughs> that it would be an easy fix. I mean, I have to say that when I was getting my driver's license, I got points taken out because I didn't know that. I yeah. turned around the bike lane because yeah. I thought that was the safest thing and I got points taken off. So, um, you know, the, they're just trying to fix that, I guess. For now, Uber said... Uh, that the the human that's at the wheel needs to take the wheel whenever they're making a right where a bike lane is. So that they're doing that now. Um, I, I also think just we're in this partially automated cars uh, era right Void. now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, it is dangerous. The partially automated is more dangerous than fully automated and more dangerous than not automated at all. And I hope that we can go get out of that into the fully automated, but we're not going to get out of there without a lot more confusion. Yeah. Like, unfortunately, there has to be this like transition point in a, in a perfect world. Maybe, maybe in a perfect world, it's, well, we've got automated cars. So on January 1st, 2017, all cars that aren't automated are off the roads and it's just the seamless switch, but that's just not how it works. And, you know, unfortunately in, in this case, so uh, there has to be some sort of, you know, merging between the two and, I, I guess it's just going to be a slow process and learning these things as you go along. By the way, I put in the whole state law mandates thing in there specifically as a reminder to myself, because I too, like that's not, that's not one of those top of mind rules where, you know, really understanding what you do with a bike lane and how you treat a bike lane uh, when you're riding next to it. So when I read that, I was like, oh yeah, that is how you do it. It's mm -hmm. good to remember. See, it's not just Uber. It's me too.